Greetings, Kerbinauts. This is Kerbal Space Program. I'm Bob Fitch, and today I am bringing you a special look at real solar system, but it's also Kerbal Constructs. I have an X-15 that I've built. I want to drop it from a B-52, and I want to do it from the right place in Nevada which means I need to have a launch site in Nevada and there's nothing over there. So I'm going to be showing you a little glimpse of what it's like for me to add new base stuff using the Kerbal Constructs mod. Eventually this will get used for Project Alexandria. I did this in a live stream, so let's take you to the live stream now. And as you can see, I have an X-15 that I have built. This is real solar system. Test launched, landed it over here. The base is right over there. So yeah, I just lifted it off. I didn't drop it from a B-52 or anything. Flew it a little bit and here it is. So let's get started. I need a new airstrip. X-15 Flight 90 was the one that went above 100 kilometers and the coordinates on the wiki page are right here. So if we just search Google for those coordinates, we can find out where in the world that was. And as we zoom out, you can see that's in the middle of Nevada. So I'm going to take those exact same coordinates and I'm going to put them into KSP. And then we'll just bring up the orbit editor here. We're gonna do ship lander and we're gonna enter the latitude and longitude of where that plane got dropped. 39 degrees north and 117, maybe just a little bit more than that, 117 degrees, put it up about 100, uh, above the ground, Smith Ranch Dry Lake. Okay, so here it is. Ah. Come on, spinny spin. All right, this is where it was when it got dropped off the B-52. And it looks like we have an airstrip right here. That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, I'll put the airstrip right here. Why not? I need to bring up the Kerbal Constructs interface because we want to put down some new thing. What do we want to spawn? Well, we have a lot of choices here, and I think there might be more choices on the website. List pads, control tower, that sounds good. How about that, a control tower? Let's put this over here. Actually, I like this over on the other side. And we'll put this over here. Okay, so I was saying right here, here's Edwards Air Force Base, and the place where we're going to drop the plane is up here. That might be very realistic. That is absolutely not something I want to do in RSS because to fly a B-52 carrying an X-15 from here all the way up to here to then drop it is going to take forever. Therefore, we're going to put the launch pad very close to up here and then just maybe do a little loop around and then drop it and then it'll fly down and land over here. The best way to get there would be if I were to have a Kerbal land the Kerbal somewhere over here and then just RCS him, fly him over to the different places where I want things to be because they spawn where your Kerbal is. So let's do that. We will EVA him where he gets to sink down into the ground because this is RSS. And now we will re-land him over in the same place where we landed our airplane. But from over here, we can hack gravity, turn on our RCS, and then start flying. All right, we need to get ourselves some new thing here. What is this? We have a hanger. Want to make a hanger? Whoa, there we go. Uh, sure, why not? So this thing needs to rotate a little in the other direction here. Yeah, sort of like that. Let's make it rotate faster. There we go. Sort of like that. Now we want to move it off to the side relative to the control tower. So which direction is that? Wrong way. 
Maybe... Maybe sort of like that. We should put them right next to where we're flying, that way we can hit them and blow up. Right? Alright, rotate, rotate. Wrong direction. A little faster. And now slower. Because I want to fix that altitude. Helipad! Helipad! Now let's move this. Ah, oh, wrong way. Okay. Right over here. And then raise that up out of the ground. So there's what the helipad looks like hovering. Now we'll lower that until it's just barely touching the ground. There. I am going to need a, a runway of some kind though, actually. Let's put in a runway over to the side. Wrong way. Well, it's probably the right way, but so over here, and then we'll rotate it. Let's rotate it like this. And that strip is not long enough. We need a much longer strip to take off a of B-52. The ground may not be as flat as I want it to be, so I'm going to have to create another one of these. So let's duplicate that and shift it. Come on, no, other way until I get it sort of where I, I have it lined up. Okay, now we can check the other side. And once those two are lined up, then it'll look like one runway. Might want a third one, I'm not sure. I might need to bring my B-52 out here and just try launching off that. I wonder if this has this runway is wide enough for a B-52. Why is my launch runway not showing up? Launch site name. That's blank. I'll bet you there's supposed to be a launch site name there and that's why it's not showing up. I can just teleport it and then land it. 0.5 roughly speaking. Let's put it way up in the air. and find out whether or not we'll be able to flip this. 400, 300. Oh, it only broke the cockpit. Hello. It's flying better now than it did when it was falling. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I was thinking there that I might be able to move it, but <laughs> we just lost it. What are we going to add now? I want to shift this a little bit. I want to line it up with those other things, rotate it a little bit. So let's do that as well. Rotate, rotate. Then we'll duplicate it. And I'll shift it down here. We'll have two of them now. Let's go down about that far. And bring it back up to be kind of in line with the other one. It takes a lot of fiddling to get this stuff just right. And rather than do lots and lots of fiddling right now, let's just try to build out the base to make it look interesting. And if I want to fiddle with it later, I can fiddle with it off camera. Let's just duplicate this one more time. Shift another one. Wrong way. This will look more interesting if we have several of these along the side of the runway. As we're taking off, it'll be like this. We'll go taking off, and oh look, there's some stuff right there. We and it'll go by. We have taxiways, runways, runway two. What's a runway two? Oh. Well, that's nice and big and cool. 
Rotate. La -da 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 -da. That is closer. Stop going quite so fast. What's next? New instances, things we can add. We have lights. Those come from the uh, Cosmodrome, but that doesn't mean I couldn't put them here because you got to have more lights. Duh. I could just put lights along the side of the runway or something. We have floodlights that look like that. Floodlight that has a little tower. It's more appropriate for a launch site though. We got launch pads. What's plateau? Oh, that's the Cosmodrome. So unless I want to put in a gigantic Cosmodrome here in the middle of Nevada, can't really go with that one. You know, that one could look good right over there. Kind of line it up in the middle-ish. I probably want to have something in here to make it look like there was a reason to have ramps and maybe some stuff over here as well. But... I most likely need to get some extra stuff to be able to do that. Some stuff out of uh, the Kerbal Constructs page. Ground control, core, skyways. <gasps> what is that? Yes. Begin the download. I want skyways. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Get that. Core, I'm pretty sure, is what I have. Ground control sounds interesting. No idea what that is. We're going to get it. Because I don't want to have to go through another five minutes of reloading and reverting my stuff and doing a bunch of things that are really boring, I'm going to end this particular stream here. You will get to see the finished product of all of this, though. It's just I feel like I probably have a couple more hours worth to work on it. Well, there you have it. That's been a glimpse at what it's like to use Kerbal Constructs to make a new base for yourself. I did mine in RSS for Project Alexandria. You're seeing a little bit of it right now. This will come up in the next episode, which isn't actually ready yet. And that's why we're falling back this week to showing this instead of an Alexandria episode. Also note, this has been considerably expanded, this base, and I had to move it because the other coordinates were a little bit off. I've moved the coordinates now, it is in just the right place. I will definitely have 1963 Project Alexandria done for next Monday, and probably the Monday after that, we might be looking at the start of a new series. Well, that's enough of a sneak peek at our 1963 launch here. You'll have to wait for Alexandria to see the rest. Let's go back to the very end of the stream. Yeah, that's going to do it. Until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts. Now, how do I turn this off? <laughs>